Adam Sawaski joins us now with your look at arts and lifestyle or whatever you want to call this tonight. Yeah, this is a, a bit of an odd version of this segment because, uh, you know, there's one international story that everybody seems to be talking about. Yesterday, of course, it was a Prince Harry. Uh, today, it's CTV News Vancouver Island going viral again. Uh, you may recall uh, CTV News reporter Joe Perkins' story about the barbecue chip bandits. It caught the attention of CNN's Anderson Cooper, The Views Will Be Goldberg, eventually earned more than half a million views on our website. Well, now a conversation between Astrid Braunschmidt and this guy, Andrew Johnson, is the top trending viral video on the search engine Bing. It's been written about in newspapers internationally. It's been talked about on TV morning shows literally around the world. Unexpected attention thanks to a word that many can't define. If I was to ask you if you wanted to canoodle with me, how would you respond? No, I do not want to canoodle with you. Why are you responding that way? Because I don't know what canoodle is. <laughs> Most of the people we spoke with this afternoon... You don't know what it means? I don't know what it means. ...were clueless about canoodling. Um, I think it's a toy store. I, I go canoeing? Even the Today I Show's to Matt Lauer that, confessed. Well I didn't actually know the definition of canoodling. The U.S. morning show covering our canoodle confusion. And a local report from Vancouver Island in Canada got a little blush-worthy when anchorman Andrew Johnson threw to the meteorologist with an indecent but misunderstood proposal. Take a listen. It's time now for a full look at your forecast with Astrid. Maybe we can canoodle before you get into it about, um... We're not going to be canoodling. What? <laughs> oh, I thought canoodle meant chat. Take it away. Get me off camera. <laughs> Awkward. 7.16 right now. From America to Australia's Channel 7 morning show. Oh, this is too much fun. Oh, you've gone international, my friend. Maybe we can canoodle. canoodle. I love her face. She's just gone, are you kidding me? Awkward. Two things went through my mind when this happened. First was, did I hear that right? Second of all, how are we going to explain this to our spouses? Canoodle means to cuddle amorously and used before the awkward moment in Bruce Williams' story about a tree in Union Bay. If there was no tree, where did people canoodle? <laughs> I don't know where they can... Back seat, my husband says. <laughs> kind of half wash the story. When you're sitting at the desk, you're checking emails, you're looking at the laptop, and I thought, oh, look at these seniors are laughing about canoodling together. Astrid, let's canoodle. Oh. The O... Oh. <laughs> prompted by our news producer. And Heather, the producer in my ear suddenly is going, you idiot, it means making out. So if you see in the video, deer in the headlights, I turn and look, I'm looking at Heather going, oh, I thought it meant to chat. And that's when she says, having sex. And that's when I start laughing, because I've realized she's saying you idiot, and I actually am an idiot. <laughs> well, Johnson's being joshed all over, all over the internet. Brown Schmidt's getting a boost. And I, I love out. Astrid. She's like, you know She's what we're fun. not going to be doing? Not Canoodle. happening. Andrew. Shut it down. Yeah. Even earning a tweet from Matt Lauer saying he's been laughing all day. I wasn't lying when I tweeted this morning that I've always wanted to be on the Today Show with Matt Lauer. I just didn't know that it was going to take a good canoodling to get there. It's pleasant yet unpleasant because it's not like a, this is spreading all over the world because look at the amazing job this anchor did. Look at this breaking news they covered. No, it's because moron doesn't know what canoodling means. <laughs> At least you're our moron, so we appreciate that. I, one thing I will say, of, of the folks that we talked to on the street, there was a couple visiting here from Kansas City. Uh, they didn't know what canoodling meant when I, we finally did inform them of what it meant. Uh, they said, that's the secret to our success. That's why we've been married for 43 years, because of canoodling. Oh, so there we go. Isn't that a nice ending? Thanks, Adam. Thank you. Thanks for devoting your day to this. <laughs> no problem.